Tween Scene July, Dinosaur Resist Painting. Hi tweens! Today you're going to be doing a dinosaur resist painting. It can look like this, or you can have just the outline of the dinosaur. In your packets, you'll find a blank canvas, a blue um, paintbrush, small paintbrush. There'll be a bag of four of the primary, well, not primary, but paint colors, and a little wooden dinosaur. So you can choose to do either the full color dinosaur or the outline of the dinosaur. It depends on what you want. That's, this is the full color version and I'm going to show you how to do the outline. So if you want to, watch the video first and then decide how you want to paint your, your craft. You're going to want to make sure that you decide first what orientation you want your dinosaur. Do you want them facing left or right? Do you want a tall painting or a uh, you know vertical or horizontal painting? For this one, I'm going to do uh, vertical, and I'm going to have my dinosaur facing right, uh, left. So, to secure my dinosaur for doing the outline, I'm going to take a piece of tape and stick it on the back, and try and get him it centered. If I was going to do the painted dinosaur and leave it on in place, I would probably um, glue it in place later on after it's been painted. You're going to want to make sure you protect your work area. So I've got some paper towels, paper plate. And now I'm going to start with my paint. I'm going to start with yellow. It's the lightest color, and if I go over it, it won't show if I need to. Shake it up a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on the end of my brush, and I'm going to start with dots along the outline of my dinosaur. Now, it's okay if, it get paint, if you get paint on the dinosaur, it's fine. You're not going to be seeing it later. And you want to make sure that you get the whole outline by the time you're done with all your different colors. So since this is just the first color, I'm just kind of doing random spots all along the outer edge. And now I'm going to do some random spots. all around the outside. I'm going to try to do more closer in to the dinosaur and fewer on the way uh, towards the edges of the canvas. So by the time I'm done, it'll look like the dots are kind of coming out from the dinosaur. All right, when I think I've got good coverage, I'm going to make sure I clean my brush really well. I got some water off camera here. and seal up my yellow paint. And next I'm going to go with some red. Make sure my brush is clean. Get my red paint out. Make sure it's all mixed up. And now I'm going to do some more edges along the dinosaur, making sure I leave space for the other colors that I've got, which are the blue and the green. And I don't want it to be a pattern, but you can certainly do a pattern if you want. Um, so I'm just trying to randomly put my red spots in. Go. 
now I'm going to add my spots are all around, just like I did with the yellow. I think with the way this brush is, it leaves kind of makes kind of an oval spot, and it looks a little like jelly beans. So I think that's fun. All right. Let's see. Last few spots of red. Seal up my paint. Make sure I clean my brush really well. Always clean your brush in between changing paint colors, unless you're mixing your colors. And feel free to mix colors if you want, if you want, you know, purple or orange. So now I've got my green paint out. And I'm going to fill in again, leaving room for the blue. At this point, you're going to need to be careful that you're not smudging the wet paint of the previous colors. If you want to wait and allow the paint to dry in between colors, that's fine. I'm too impatient. So now I've got my green. And you don't have to use all of the colors provided. If you say you wanted just to use blue and yellow, you could, or um, whatever color combination you want. All right, a little bit more green. Clean my brush. Get out my blue paint. Right. Now I'm going to fill in all the leftover spots. Make sure I have plenty of coverage and that my dinosaur is completely outlined. Lots of spots. All right. Now I see I have one spot there where I would have two blue in a row, so I'll probably go back in later and fill that in with a different color. And I'll add some blue to the background. bit more. I 
think that looks pretty good, aside from that one empty spot. So I'm going to seal up my blue, clean my brush one more time. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of dab of green in there. That one spot that I left blank. Make sure my brush is clean before I change colors. You can see it's right there. And I'll fill that in. Perfect. Now I'm going to let that dry, set that aside before I do anything else. Make sure I clean up all my supplies while that's drying because we'll need our brush for future crafts. All right, we've come back and it's dry. And so I'm going to gently lift off my dinosaur and you can see the outline of the dinosaur with the dots and it's pretty cool. So that's your choice. You can do either the dinosaur outline or the dinosaur with a paint solid color. If you decide to do the solid color paint, I would paint the dinosaur separately before you put it on the canvas and then glue it on. That's all for now.